up, people? I'm Lindsay Geektron, and this is LOL King's League Trends for the week of October 21st, 2014. Did everyone stay up super late to watch the finals? I did. 3.30 in the morning. Thanks, right? Honestly, though, I'm just really glad it wasn't a complete stomp fest like last year's World Championships. I mean, good job, China. You got one. Woo. One day, though, I believe that NA will make it to the finals. One day. Anyway, this week's featured champions include Jace, Cassidy, Skarner, Tristana, Fizz, and Kha'Zix. Let's dive into Summoner's Rift. First up this week, the champions with the biggest increased pick rates are Jace, Darius, Riven, Shivana, and Fiddlesticks. Jace has emerged as a popular pick thanks to big stage time at the World Championships. The welder of the Mercury Cannon and Hammer brings a lot of things to a team. His Acceleration Gate is a speed up for allies as well as his Shock Blast poke. When Jace shifts into Hammer Stance, To the Skies gives him the ability to dive into the fray and clean up fights. Jace can be played top but is usually seen in the mid lane. Players should be mindful of the long cooldown on Acceleration Gate. If Jace misses the combination with Shock Blast, he's vulnerable and cannot run away quickly. He's also a pretty squishy champion so make sure you know your limits when you hop in with Hammer Stance. Keep an eye out for the Defender of Tomorrow in solo queue. Decreased pick rates this week list Scion, Nidalee, Cassidy, Lotion, and Kha'Zix. Cassidy appears to have faded away, but that's just because of a bug. Expect to see him back. Kind of. Hooray. That said, Cassidy is a mystery to some lately, so let's talk about him. The Voidwalker has historically been a mid laner, but he's more recently been successful in the top lane. Cassidy has a weak laning phase against ranged champions, but he trades auto attack surprisingly well in melee. Most players find a Rod of Ages and Zonny's Hourglass to be the core items for Cassidy. A Tear of the Goddess is possible, but I personally don't recommend it. The increased lockout time on Riftwalk's mana cost means that Cassidy struggles to stack a tier in a reasonable amount of time. His Nether Blade requires him to auto attack, so many like a Lich Bane later in the game. While he's now a niche pick, it's unlikely we'll see him very much at all. Champs with increased win rates this week are Skarner, Scion, Azir, Kog'Maw, and Cassiopeia. Skarner's win rate has increased substantially, but why? The answer is most likely due to the rise of assassins and solo lane carries such as Fizz, Zed, and Rise. Skarner's signature ability is his ultimate, Impale. Skarner suppresses an enemy champion and is free to drag them while it lasts. This suppression makes it difficult for assassins and close range champions to engage their enemies. They can't go in until they see Skarner use his ultimate since suppression usually means death. If you play Skarner, be sure to cast Crystal Slash while moving your prey. Suppression cannot be cancelled by Cleanse or the support item Mikhail's Crucible, but it will be removed by a Quicksilver Sash. The item isn't common, but be on the lookout and try not to grab those enemies unless they've used it. Decreased win rates include Tristana, Olaf, Victor, Yasuo, and Kha'Zix. Tristana visits us as a featured champion for the second time in three weeks. Tristana's base attack speed and rapid fire steroid were weakened in the last patch, so because of that, her win rate has been decreasing. The changes mean that she has about the same attack speed during her now 5 seconds of rapid fire, but less when it's not available. The ability is still free, but Tristana players should be mindful of the short duration and long cooldown. Use it only when you're sure you'll get multiple auto attacks off. With all of that in mind, Tristana is still a potent late game champion with plenty of safety from Rocket Jump and Buster Shot. Explosive Shot deals splash damage when she kills a minion, so farming with her is a bit tricky sometimes. It's just a little harder for Tristana to actively win her lane now, so if you want to play the Meg Lane Gunner, make sure you can farm under turret. It's less likely Trist will be banned out now, so keep an eye out for her jumping around the rift. Champions on the increased bans list this week include Rise, Nar, Ramis, Fizz, and Jace. Fizz has been a highly banned champion for some time, but is now under more pressure than ever. Like fellow mid laner Jace, the attention comes from being in the spotlight at Worlds. Fizz is a tricky champion to master, but snowballs a lead very hard with his assassination potential. There's a couple of different builds available, but the most popular seems to be a combination of a Deathfire Grasp along with Lucidity Boots. This reduces the cooldown of Fizz's two-part Playful Trickster ability for more mobility. Playful Trickster is also usually maxed in lane since it's Fizz's only ability for wave clear. 
People playing against Fizz should know that he's vulnerable to auto attacks as well as spells when it's on cooldown. Junglers can also try and watch for the ability and only gank when it's down. Those who play Fizz need to be very mindful of when they use that ability. If he manages to slip to those bands, you'll be seeing him more and more on the rift. Finally this week, the decrease bands list has Tristana up first, dropping again over 24% from last week. Ouch. Yasuo, Scion, Kha'Zix, and Maokai rounded out. Like Tristana, Kha'Zix is also hogging the limelight as a featured champion. The bug is considered a bit less threatening after a decrease to his void spike damage, but keep in mind that he's still banned in over half of all games. The nerf really isn't that big and does nothing to diminish the utility of the ability. Evolved Spike Rax gives Kha'Zix plenty of poke, chase, and disengage potential, but some people choose to evolve his melee, taste their fear, or leap ability at level 6. Evolved Enlarged Claws gives a damage boost but only on isolated targets, while Evolved Wings increases leaps range and lets Kha'Zix reset on kill assist. Evolving Leap is probably the safer of the two options and gives Kha'Zix more range on his ganks. Good, because, you know, he totally needed help murdering things. Thanks, Riot. And that's all for this week's episode. Please be sure you check back every week for the latest League of Legends picks, bans, and win rates. Please be sure you like and comment below, especially if you like this video, which I know you did. And don't forget to subscribe to Law King's YouTube channel before you go. I'm Lindsay Geektron. You can follow me on Twitch TV at Lindsay Geektron. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see everyone next week.